Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button up below to give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions you may have on the lookbook today, as well as do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of up and coming videos that I do not want you guys to miss. And of course, as you guys already know, we have that new join button. Do not forget to smash that join button to become a part of the Shade community. We would love to have all of you. All right, and as well, we've got merch. So don't forget to check out the merch that we have for our Shade community. Today, we are gonna be doing a lookbook on what I was able to cop today for Supreme Week 13. As you guys can see, I copped the bullion t-shirt in the pink colorway, which I'm extremely stoked about. Uh, one of the things I love most about this tee is how cool is this Supreme Detail logo. It's like very, very hardcore detail right here. If we could just get a closer look, like this is an insane material that I don't even know how honestly this is attached. Let's see if we can even see on the back. Oh yeah, it's quite stitched in there as you guys can see that patch work there on the inside of the tee but it's very holiday-esque i do kind of like that and i don't actually own a lot of pink items in the supreme wardrobe but uh, i do like this pink and it's a bit of a lighter t-shirt i did think it was going to be a thicker quality shirt just because it was 78 dollars um and this is also in a medium for those of you who are wondering the sizing of this. It is a bit oversized on me, um, but that is the bullion t-shirt. And this actually went pretty quick in a small in 120.7 seconds. I feel like pink tees do tend to flap the shells. And I think a lot of that has to do with the ladies out there because us ladies love us some pink as well as guys too. I think pink is just a very popular colorway. All right, so next up on the list, just pull out this box. This is one of the lamps and this is a floss lamp. I think I talked with you guys about this on the drop list about how bougie and upscale these lamps are. I've been actually in need of some extra light in this room so I'm really excited to add this lamp to my desk. Let's open it up. Show you guys what that looks like there. Definitely a flammable box, so don't want to get this close to anything that could potentially catch it on fire. Let's flip it over. Ooh, this is a neat little box. Supreme detailing going on there on the front. Let's roll it around. I love how artsy this box is. Bell Hop by Edward Barber and J. Oscar B. Floss. Again, uh, this is the same retail as just a regular lamp pricing goes, so there was no additional upcharge on the pricing of this lamp. This little sticker there. This is nicely packaged here. The little duster bag that we have. Bin. There's a nice black bag that says floss on it right there. Let's just open this up. Oops, be careful with it. So this looks like it's the top of lamp. This is actually like very small compared to what I thought it was going to be. It's kind of cute. Look how adorable that is. Let's see what we have in here. how-to kit here, but this looks like we've got another little power kit. See how we are going to power this lamp up. Oh, look at that. Same charger as my iPad. Nice to have an additional charger that's similar. So let's just see all the pieces that we have in here. Yeah, 
looks like we've got all these different options depending on where you're located. It's nice that they give you different options so that you're able to plug in this lamp wherever it is that you live. So, of course, this is us right here. Let's just see how it's like we connect it to this box here. So I'm just going to slide this in. Look how easy that is. So you can interchange that. So I can bring this lamp with me technically when I travel all around. That's pretty cool. So yes, this is a LED portable little charger here. I just wish the charger was a little bit longer in length, but it's just long enough so that I can charge it on my table. Um, I actually don't even know if this plug is working. lights that are telling me that it's charging which is interesting but oh yeah. look at that there's nothing cooler than a wireless lamp you guys look how cool this is i can bring this anywhere in my apartment i mean it doesn't even matter it's just the cord to charge it you know oh oh it's blinking i don't know i don't know what that means let's just uh let's see what cool nice and simple little light but it's portable how cool is that i can take this with me if i want travel it's not that big nice little reading lamp all right so this actually also this button adjusts the lighting so you can actually dim this so that's the brightest setting and then that's the setting where the lamp is on dim. How cool is that? Ugh, oh, I'm in love with this lamp. And I'm so in love with it, guys. Don't worry. I got two. So we're gonna set these up in the office. It's gonna be a nice little additional piece to add some more light to the room. Pretty excited about this new floss piece. And I love that it has the different settings to, you know, just change the settings on it. But the fact that this is wireless is insane. Uh, and the charger cord is just long enough for me to charge it right off my desk table. So I'm pretty happy about that. And the fact that uh, we have these additional outlets here, depending on where you are. All right, so pass this up real quick and get to the last few items that I was able to pick up. leave the lamp on the table for some decor for you guys to look at all right so next up i was able to pop some of the thermal wear and i'm so stoked about this this is so exciting because i'm gonna live off of this in the winter time i'm all about larry in new york to stay warm i got it in a few sizes so i'm going to show you guys how these fit the black i got in a size small so you guys will see how this looks on me in a size small let's just see oh that's like really thick material um this is definitely not thin this is going to keep you extremely warm the band is very thick and high quality as well definitely a rougher material it's not extremely soft um, but it's definitely going to keep me warm for the winter and this is a size small in the pants and then let me just open up the thermal crew top here you guys can see that in the black so there we have it size small pretty slim looking um, but again you guys will see this on me as well and then I got this in the red so the top is actually a large so we'll see how the large fits in comparison to the small and then I got a pair of medium pants so we can see how the medium fits as well in comparison to the small sizing you guys can get an idea it's the large there uh, these do look like they are pretty tight fitted uh, which of course you're going to want that for thermal just to keep them nice and toasty for the winter time 
And then these are the thermal pants in the size medium. Pretty stoked. I have this in red and black. We'll see how these fit. Uh, as far as the colors go, they also launched a white colorway as well, which I think is less popular. I decided to not go for the white. I think out of the two colors, these were my favorite. Uh, but we will go through the fitting on these and, and see how they fit and how they compare. This morning I went online to try and cop the Stone Island striped hoodie and I really wanted a small but unfortunately by the time I went to check out it was sold out. Story of my life. Took a fat owl on the small but that's okay. Didn't quit there, didn't stop me. I went in and copped a medium so as soon as that comes in I can't wait to show that on my body. Go on. And show you guys how that medium fits. Uh, other than that, we are going to go through the sellout times now and talk about how some items are currently doing on resale. So let's see. Starting from the top, the first item to the US to go was the hand painted hooded shirling jacket in a medium in that kind of white creamish colorway that went in 6.4 seconds. That was that expensive jacket. Oh my God, that jacket is mind blowing how expensive it was, but that went fast. So did the uh, black colorway in a small that went 6.8 seconds, followed by the down jackets. It looks like we're coming up after that in around 6.8 to seven seconds in the XL, the small and another small, all three colors, the black, the teal and that coral. Then we've got the Supreme Stone Island embroidered logo top in a large in that black colorway that went 7.3 seconds. The Supreme Stone Island striped hooded sweatshirt that I wanted went in 7.4, which makes sense why I wasn't able to cop that. Um, then a large in the Supreme Stone Island hand painted hooding sterling went 7.6, followed by another one of the down jackets in a medium in black. So it looks like pretty much the top selling items in the top 10 were the shirling jacket in both the white and black and the crinkled down jacket in all colorways, followed by that Supreme Stone Island hooded sweatshirt and a few of the t-shirts in a white or black colorway. All right guys, so now let's talk about resale, see how some of these items are currently doing on the resale market and that's what we'll conclude with. So let's jump into it. All right, so let's talk about resale. I'm gonna start off with the Supreme Stone Island Warp Stripe Hooded Sweatshirt in the white. That retailed around $348 and is currently going for around $400 to $420. So a little bit more over that retail price point, but not so insanely over it. Next up uh, is the Sherling jacket. So 
that retailed around 2800 and in white it's doing a little bit better it's going between 3600 to 4000 and the black is going around 3400 to 3900 a little bit scary if you're a reseller out there and you're trying to resell that item especially if you are in a highly taxed state um but yeah we'll see we'll see how that shirling coat goes uh, and then we've got that crinkle coat, which went for around $9.98 and is currently reselling in the black for around $1,200 to $1,400. All right, so before I go, I do want to give a special thank you to my newest members of the Shade Gang community. So I just want to go through the names. And again, I want to just applaud you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And here it goes. First up, Gummy Bear. Rolling Stoner, Brianna Stone, Dylan Park, Sean McBain, Anthony White, Benny Bowser, Dr. Mario, and Joker Harley. Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much this helps the channel grow, how much this helps us create even better, qual higher quality content for you guys to view. Uh, again, I do highly recommend that if you are not already a member, please hit that join and check out the membership platforms that we have the different offers for because I can't wait for this community to grow even bigger. Again, thanks for all of your support, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in my channel. If you're new, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Leave me in comments or questions that you guys may have on items that you may have picked up this week or plan on picking up for the following week. And do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of upcoming content. Don't forget to hit that merch. Check it out as well as again. If you do want to become a member like these special individuals that are part of the Shade Game community, do not forget to hit that join button. All right, you guys, we will see you on the next video. Again, my name is Marissa Hill and this is Shade TV. We'll catch you on the next one.